what I want to do is simply take off some of these wrinkles and also adjust the color and the tone of the t-shirt. So I'm in Photoshop right now and what I'm going to do is go up to the image menu. Sorry, you can't see it because it's cut off. Then under in image menu, in your menu bar, there is auto tone, auto contrast and auto color. I'm going to start with auto color. Click that and as you can see the color is already brightened up and then I'll go to auto contrast too just to give it a bit more boost after that I'm gonna select my my spot healing brush sorry you again you cut off but um, I think you get the idea let me try to absolutely so spot healing brush right here and what I'm gonna do is simply click and drag and release and what you'll see happening is the creases will begin to go away and also I want to get rid of that so it looks a bit dirty so you can either use your healing brush or you can you can just select it and then um, use the clone stamp first let's get rid of as many creases as we can Got a bit of lag on my computer because um I don't have that much RAM, but it does the job. So this is looking pretty decent now. I wish I'd done a before and after so you would see the full results, but we can always open the actual image and check it out. to get rid of these lines because these are old lines so that's okay it's the creases that I'm worried about I think when I increase the size of my my spot healing tool by pressing the open close bracket to a key and then that increases the size and I can do larger areas the problem with larger areas is that you might end up um, Selecting areas you don't want to select so it's always good to start with a smaller brush and then move, move on up to the bigger brush I think that's looking pretty decent I could also select out this blue and put in just a white background and to do that you can either use your quick selection tool so if you don't see it there's a little black triangle but that means if you right click it exposes the other tools so I won't choose the magic wand because I want to select um, around the white including the blue print This, this part of um, the editing you don't need to do necessarily if you don't mind the background being there. So what I'm doing is I'm clicking and holding my quick selection tool and I'm just hovering over the t-shirt. Start with the edges, go around the edges. Once you've done that, you'll be good to go. And what we have is a nice selection around the edges. Still coming in. It's a bit slow, like I mentioned, um, my RAM isn't up to par. Now this won't be a clean selection because um, the photograph is not great, but at least I'll get a decent enough image to be able to post online. So it's still working on the areas, sorry about the delay.
also select the, the print just by hovering over it while holding down my, my mouse key and it actually come right in. There we go. Finally, I've got um, a selection over here that I don't actually want. So what I'll do is I'll hold on my Alt button. That means it deselects that area. So hold on your Alt button, click on your mouse and just drag over the, over, over the area and you're good to go. So, so far so good. It's looking pretty decent. But what I need to do is go right up here to the selection. It actually, if you go refine edge right in there, and then this gives us an idea of um, what we have so far. So I've got a bit of dirt over here and around the edges. So what I want to do is click on Smart Radius, increase it to one pixel, simply by dragging that. Then I'll smooth it up by about 10. Well, um, these, these dials will depend on what type of photograph you have. So with mine, I am working, as I'm working, I'm actually looking at the t-shirt to see what it's doing. But over here, I've got a bit of a problem over here. I'll click and drag that. And then what I want to do is I'll also click decontaminate colors. That means any overcast of blue of the background that's coming onto the t-shirt will also be um, worked on by the program. Once I've done this, also by selecting decontaminate colors, I will actually have another layer here with a mask. If you don't do that, you will just get a selection. And that might not, not work for you because, yeah, you will have a selection. So what we have now is, this is the original, and this is it without the background. And if I go down here, I will select a new layer, drag it down to the bottom of the one with the mask, and then I'll choose my fill tool. I can fill it with any color I want. I'm going to fill it with black so that we have a nice black background. Awesome. So that's about it. That's how you actually select um, areas within a t-shirt, how you clean it up um, with contrast and color in Photoshop in very quick steps. Last thing I'm going to do is just rotate it. So if I go Command T on a Mac or Control T on, a, on Windows, it will bring out the transform tool and now I can adjust my t-shirt so that it looks straight. Awesome. Finally, since I've got a, a mask here, what I'm going to do is click on the mask, go to my brush tool, make sure black is selected, and I'm just going to hover over that. But that's not going to work. Why isn't that working? Because we've got a black background. So what we do is uh, go Command Z, and then we're going to choose our Clone Stamp tool, click on the T-shirt icon, then hold your Alt button close to where you want to select, click once, and now hover over the part you want to cut out. The easier way will be to um, use your Lasso tool and just select the area around it so that you won't go over any other areas. Go back to your clone stamp tool, select an area, and now we can quickly just cover that up. Now if, if it's not working, if it looks like it keeps um, duplicating the same areas, select another clean area. Once you're done, click Command D to deselect or Control D on a PC to deselect. And now I can save my image. Save as, give it a name. And you save it uh, in whatever format you want. I prefer JPEG if I'm posting online. Save it. Now let's look at um, the before and after. 
So I'm going to open up the original image so that you can see the difference. There it is. Let's try it again. I'm not sure what happened there. I don't seem to be able to open my my original image but what I can show you is actually the before it looked like that and now it looks like this the black background you can also change that background to whatever color you want click on the layer click the bucket tool click this the square Let's just take a red background and then just fill it with red and the, only the background will be affected. I think that looks pretty cool. Gives it a sense of agency. All right. I'm also going to save that as as a copy. So that's about it guys. Um, how to quickly edit images in Photoshop. Uh, without having to go through bridge and you could do fancy things with this with this like um, add a drop shadow for example so that your t-shirt pops so click on drop shadow what I did is double clicked on this layer it brings up the layer styles now I've got I selected drop shadow I'm gonna push up the distance a bit and then I'm also gonna push up the size a little so that it's slightly that's awesome and now I'm going to save it again so that I have the copy. Okay, that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. If there are any 